Yo, welcome PBO, welcome to week three, Natty the Worcester Hoopers versus Kingston. The Kingston Shadows, Marshadows, however you want to say it, on the top right. I'm here with myself, and of course, I think the first time on YouTube, perhaps? Frederick Klefke's in a live com? I think, think so. I think first time on the PBO YouTube channel, <laughs> definitely not first time otherwise. Yeah. So, you I'm know. I'm here to you, watch some gameplay. You're an expert. Give me a rundown. Uh, this is not a good lead for Kingston. Uh, actually, it might be depending on the item of this tread, right. but I don't really think so. Clearly, the rocks and rapid spin and, and all the things tread normally does is going to come out here. This thing is just really known to click rapid spin and could go for an earthquake here if they really want to. Don't think they will, though, because there's a Corviknight in the back. So I think that I think we're going to see rocks here from the iron treads. And we might see an attack from the Porygon Z. Depends how much they value chip damage on this. Try attack, freeze, para, or burn would suck a lot. Uh, really, though, I expect Hardcore Knight or Samurai. Really nothing else here. You can go hard uh, Holt if you're nuts, but that's pretty cool. Pretty sure yeah, Winchester Whoopers has a really bad team, like, allegedly looking at it. Not not bad, per se, but, like, amongst all the others. I mean, you look at Dragapult, Hisui, Samurai, Corvo Knight, and then I see... Ah, oh, well... It's not that bad. Personal okay, preference, I guess. Game. It's, it's turn one. Um, <laughs> it is turn one. Kingston is playing sick. Stiff, so, and the, the team is relative, looks relatively weak to Mavis Stiff if you can force enough switches. So if you play passively enough. So that was a read that possibly called the Corvette coming in, but they made the ground at Noct. And Kingston probably reveals that, you know, that's probably a modest ice beam if I had to guess. Out comes the core of now on the vault. Good play. Ooh, good vault. That does nothing. I like that. Good vault play. Uh, you can get read an investment here if you're the whoopers. Just read their read the read their investment. Uh, Which... Then you can go out into Rotom and you can just get the free vault switch off again. You can start putting them into a root a loop, which is just going to be really powerful. Yeah, no ground immunity, so yeah. Also noted, we don't see a weakness policy. We don't see an item on the Corviknight, so I think this is probably Rocky Helmet, if I had to guess. Possibly Boots. Could be a Resist Berry as well. I don't really see what it would be a Resist Berry for, but it could. We just click full Switch again here. We go Discharge. Oh, okay. oh my god, he loves the Discharge. That's gonna do zero damage, and we are lefties. <laughs> we are not Boots on this, which means this Corviknight needs to have Defog. I Does this thing, this Colossal defog. get set up? Is it like weakness oh, policy something? No, it, you can you can do that, but I don't think it's worth it here. You can do like steam engine bullshit. Oh, we're all going terra fair right off the bat. So we're going to terrestrialize <laughs> just to prevent us from being weak to rocks. Um, it's kind of a, a risky switch, here, but you can go into either your wheezing or potentially your Latios. Latios won't be able to do anything. Um, I think this is wheezing though. Every time, yep. We are going to see Levitate. It is not going to be one of the two abilities to pop on switch in. This is Mystic likely a decks. defog. I think it's foolish not to bring defog into Hisuian Samurai. I really don't think that's a smart idea. But I think this should be a defog here. So besides oh, rocks, what else can Colossal do? Like, um, I mean, like... It doesn't really have anything that's too favorable here. He can go for a damage on the Weezing, like a Heat Crash or some, like a Fire Blast, I guess. If, if I, I think Heat Crash is just better damage, though. So. And uh, we can also set up more spikes. Levi the answer. Oh, Willow. Oh. That's, all right, that's okay. <laughs> that's, okay, okay. So if this is physical as elf, it's been neutered. If it is special as elf, you need to run. Because <laughs> this is such an easy... The treads is already chipped, and if you call the treads coming in here, you are in trouble. Also, I'm going to guess it's special. Psychic. I'm going to guess he's special as well. Those things are tipped through special. We're gonna hard call psychic. Is that like, Ooh. wow? Oh, okay. He's the champ That's for a reason now. <laughs> Making plays. He's the champ bug. for a reason, and now we get on to the real, real fun part of the game, which is now he has to switch into a stakeout boost and crunch. And I'm going to assume this is choice band or choice scout. So this is going to hit a lot of it. Like, look how much this is about to do. It misses. Never oh. mind. I speak, and it just doesn't work. I don't really know why he went for player up there. Um. Predicting Hisui Samurai? Samurai? Yeah. This but one was doing over half anyway. So I don't see what the point of that was. Well, that's something crazy. Also, these Attack on Titan nicknames are killing me. Mm -hmm. I hope no one's going to be spoiled from these. A humble roost. Oh, a humble roost. 
so the momentum is given back to the Rotom, and we'll see Leftover, so it's not tricked. And we've already seen that it probably has uh, it's with its Discharge. You can go for another Discharge. I would so much prefer a Volt Switch, though. Discharge again, looking for a para. Will he get it? Not this time. If you, Unfortunate. If you, vote, you get momentum on this thing, and now you have to switch into Colossal, which is not something this team really likes to do at the moment. I mean, discharge uh, into, into Weezing, but discharge into Volt, okay. right? Same thing. You can discharge kind of. into Volt. But you're switch. You're switch. You're switching into the Colossal versus uh, the King Kingston having to switch into you. You mm. get momentum back, which is mm -hmm. really powerful here. Because you want you want the Mapistiff to come in and quick moves for free. You do not want it to do anything. Like another this discharge. Is discharge. This is aggressive. Well, power gym isn't doing much. So no, this thing could have gone for trash though and bodied this thing. It's just going for damage on the Rotom, which is fine. It's okay. But it's like leftovers and like, uh, that's uh, you know, is it really worth it? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, chip is chip is chip. So, any any chip is worth it. But I don't know. Power gem and the leftovers. I'm not really feeling it. It's a tough spot to be in for sure. If you're really for both sides here. We're looking for okay. There's Terra Blast. So we've seen we've now seen three moves from this Colossal. One so he's, he's in a Willow. Two offensive moves. Defog. So he's a special okay. attacking Colossal. Okay. That's a good defog. I like that. So we've already seen go Mabasip once. I don't think he's going to quit Psychic here. So I actually think staying in with the Weezing is an okay play. If this is a knockout, Airlines. however, we... Oh! Play. Yeah, that one didn't matter too much. I think yeah. you would have gotten information on the Azelf spread if it's Specs or not. I think if the Azelf has U-turn, it reveals it here. I don't it, think this is weakness policy. This is my setup. Also no, he's Thunderbolt. We're going straight. Okay. Okay, so... This no is setup mods? Colossal. You're getting... No, probably just not setting up yet. Because why would you do that on turn 15 when you don't have the necessary chip on anything? I don't so know. He's just, he's just trying to wear this Colossal down. It's a matter of when this Colossal dies. Because once the Colossal dies, you look at the Latios, it clicks a Dragon Move into the entire team, and clicks Thunderbolt for the uh, for the two uh, resists. Or for the one resist, I should say. What What is Kingston looking for here to switch into? Because he's only gone, but he's saving the pull in the Samurai so He's really just been going in between yeah. the, so right the, the Colossal he, he and the Azdo. Kind of, he was playing kind of defensively, and now that the Porygon is in, we're going to be picking a sack here from, from, from the side of the whoopers. And he's just playing bulky until he sees an opportunity to come in safely. He doesn't want this Porygon Z taking any unnecessary damage. He doesn't. He wants this thing coming in as safely as possible so it can claim a kill or it's do a KO. So, for instance here, this is about to get fucking bodied. Watch. Woohoo! Porygon. And that's also risking a lot of things. That is risking a burn, para, or freeze. So Porygon this won't is just very rough though. every time this then. Because it gets that boost every time. Unfortunate, it Porygon unfortunate won't outspeed. Gone, but okay, not and then bad. You just okay. have a great switch into the Taurus every time. Not bad. The so the Corviknight here might U turn. You may you may predict the Wooper here to sack something. I don't think you need to, though, when you have two switches. That are good. Brave Bird! Brave Bird comes out. That's fine. Okay. That didn't do as much as That's I thought it okay. would. No, Rotom is neutral. Hmm. It is uh, neutral. Yeah, but it I thought Brave Bird were done. I don't know. No, this is a defensive Corviknight. Likely this is a bulkier Rotom because it's leftovers with Discharge. Another Discharge, no pair. Every time, every time this happens, every time this Colossal comes in, we are slowly sacrificing damage here. This Colossal is getting chipped more and more. A lot of and misses. That's okay. That okay. is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Um, that would have probably been a dead as elf, if I had to guess. Or a very low as elf. No, you're right. Would have been Deb. Would have been gone. So that's unfortunate because now Whoopers must switch into Azelf and they have they're starting to exhaust their resources a little bit. The Tauros is low. The Weezing is revealed two of its moves and doesn't want to come in here anyway. The treads is low or at half, but it's not exactly half. And the Azelf has fire blast, and I'm pretty sure that may not get out depending on its item. The Mabastiff is pretty risky. 
So we do see the U-turn here. Kingston opts not to make any rough, any any hard aggressive reads that one might come in and just clicks U-turn, which is fine because he should have a switch in. And the colossal. Now this colossal Jesus. is going solo, and we finally click full switch. <laughs> All right, momentum, switch. baby. So now we could get something in faster that was able to threaten things rather than continually playing this defensive game that Kingston has been losing. This colossal is so low, and yes, we get treads back. So this is great. We're gonna get two turns of leftovers back. Above guaranteed. half. Okay. We're gonna get two turns of leftovers back guaranteed for the treads. That is excellent. We could also be very aggressive and set rocks here. I do not think that is a play because again, this thing could carry the heat crash. And we do make the correct play. Okay. Good job. Okay. <laughs> We're playing and around we with it. Once more. We vote once more. Very easy for us to do. We can even click just <laughs> now. Now the colossal is low enough. Discharge is an acceptable play. <laughs> for him, discharge has always been the play. Hasn't been anything else. Now it is beneficial because it is a two KO on anything that comes in, and you do not want to risk your pole getting paralyzed. That's just foolish. So now so, we. So why so save Samrat his sweep for so long? Uh, my best guess is he is waiting until things are chipped down, and he will go in with a choice scarf, and he will click water move or cease to edge, depending on what gets chipped. I guess the pair so of also finally gets paralyzed. Yep. It doesn't matter, and <laughs> uh, this charge will come off again. Colossal will likely die. The Rotom will get two turns of leftovers recovery, which is great. That may keep it out of range of ceaseless edge or where uh, any other crazy ass move. Uh, this will come in, so now we have to play this this thing again, where Kingston must make an aggressive prediction as to what happens here, and it's always going to be a risk for for the whoopers. So you can click Psychic, you can click Fire Blast, or you can click U-Turn if you don't want to make that play. But now we've established that the Rotom can definitely put on pressure. The Discharge is incredibly free here. If he misses the Fire Blast. Was that... No, I wasn't crazy. I thought the Rotom was faster when it, when the as of dodge that Leaf Storm. I think it just switched it into it. No, he switched it. On. He yeah. switched it in hard. Here's the thing. I think this Rotom actually has a lot of value. I am really worried about this Dragapult in the back. If I am another miss, oh. and another correct read from 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 the Whoopers. I am really worried about this Dragapult in the back though. After like one Dragon Dance. I think the wheezing, if it's healthy enough, can take it on. But if the wheezing gets shipped, then you are in a lot of trouble. So you need to keep your health on wheezing, like there. Because if you are in range of Dragapult, you are in trouble. We got this Luster Purge. Is not a switch in. The mirror <laughs> armor is cute. It's funny. It's very cute, and it's a way to prevent the special defense drop. But this can easily click Thunderbolt, and I think he has choice specs by the way he just swapped out there. And Don's getting back some health. He's getting back a little bit. I'm starting to there it is. he doesn't have body press. There it is. Oh, we see bulk up. So is this not defog last move? He may be bulky, but he's bulking up. There's Rocky the helmet. helmet. You were right. You were right. And I didn't think nothing. Press. All right. Treads all four away. moves. All right. So we've seen all four moves. What will be the play now? Uh, Roost. Rotom the play. I'll be Roost right here. You know. If he's roosting, then Rotom is your play. No. You see the wheezing come in. That suggests the wheezing is going to be the answer to this. Oh, uh, Willow Wisp. We have Willow Wisp. Yeah, we got Willow. We got Willow. We do. We are forced to Willow Wisp. But now we go for an attack. Okay, no. I thought he'd go for an maybe dash and gleam, just get so chip now, off. Now, this is interesting. Notice how nothing has directly attacked this Azelf so far. And this is already down to 45. Finally percent. lands it. No burn. Finally lands a fire blast and catches something, finally. Because we do not want to go hard a lot, Yeah, Yeah, speeds, kills. Faster. Okay, so not that bad. Was Scarf Mavisif, and this is a Scarf as Elf. And I'm starting to think it is, by the way, he's withdrawn so far. He has not clicked U-turn. I'm starting to think this is Choice Scarf. No 6-0 on either side, not bad. Yeah, this would confirm that this is probably Choice Lock as Elf in some way. And I think the... I think we're going to see a Thunderbolt here. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think he can sack so it. Yeah, really well. Yeah. So that's really good if you're Iron Treads. That's fantastic if you're Iron Treads. You get to keep that around now, or you're just clicking Earthquake into the entire team, except for Azelf, obviously. But you don't really care about that at this point. We're okay. Uh, but outcomes. So this is a problem. So since this Latios is choice locked now, this thing is 
uh, allowed to set up for free. So this wheezing needs to come in and perform now. You do not have another play. You must go wheezing, and you must have an answer for this. Oh, 35. So that's going to get rough. I think you still have one. It's a 25% chance I to Oko. I do not think you're, you're, knocking back, you're knocking it out with... Um, Strange team here. Allegedly 25% chance to kill. So you need to have some sort of speed control. That Tauros could be choice guy. It's something we need to keep in mind too. Could have the Aqua Jet if you put if you somehow get enough damage up on the Bolt with Strange Steam. We've also seen that this thing has taken it has leftovers, so it's not specs. And you go into the Porygon Z. I don't know if that was a good play here. Oh, into the yeah. treads. Doubles out in the treads. Okay. Doubles out into the treads. So he intended to sack the treads there, but got rewarded because Kingston was scouting for something. Or, possibly, the Weezings predicted that Kingston would not quick Shadow Ball and feared that it would not kill and he would lose his Dragapult. That's a crazy read. Regar regardless... So it's, po it's possible here, both happens, and PZ goes down. It's a big offensive threat gone. We're bringing it back That's in. That's massive. Out comes the Bolt right This is in. good position. This is I really good. sacking the Iron Treads here. We go Shadow Ball no matter what. No matter what. Because the Elf is choice, Scar. Yeah. You quick knock off here no matter what. You do not want this thing to get a substitute up, and now you're aware of the Pult's investment and item. You have so much information if you're the Woofers here, so you just go for a knockoff. You want to sack. You do not want to let this thing get a substitute up. Oh. It is not a good idea. This is why we quick knock. We're in range of Aqua Jet now. Do we have Aqua Jet, and are we able to take a hit with the Weezing from this amount of health? That is what it will come down to. Wait. I'm going to go ahead and guess this oh. is mixed. Yeah, it looks mixed. He has Shadow Ball. Gets a crit. Crit did not matter there as far as I'm aware. He has Jet. He goes hard into it. He must have the Jet. He is also not clear body for the Infiltrator. Taurus. This is an Aqua Jet game. And also, I don't want to say anything too early, but if this thing is Choice Scarf, it will outpace the Samurai and will knock it out with close combat if it has it. So that's important here. And he does knock it out. That is beautiful. Dude. That is beautiful. Worcester so put on the clinic right, right now. now. Okay, Mikasa. Right. Now we have confirmation this thing is probably Choice Scythe. We need to take precautions. We can use the wheezing now as our check to this, as crazy as that sounds. <laughs> Yeah, the right. only part where this gets scary is if this is Swords Dance into priority Aqua Jet or Sucker Punch. Huh? Oh. It's Samurai. No? I was about to say. <laughs> um, That's Hisuian Samurai. Check the roster page. That is definitely Hisuian. And it's dead. It's not Choice Scarf. Neither are Choice Scarf. Well, I don't think it mattered. It died anyway. And then this is going to click Aqua Jet, and that will be a four. What the hell? <laughs> he wants to kill with Laudios. Laudios. He does, but this is a really stupid risk to take. <laughs> he wants to kill, and that's a convincing 401 from Worcester. That is convincing. That was uh, really good. <laughs> 45 I turns. Feel like, and... I feel like Kingston was definitely more rushed this game. He lost his defensive answer way too early, having to switch it into Rotom way too many times. He almost lost his health in a kind of a. He tried to get aggressive, and then he almost lost his elf for it. This was, this is a game and a half for sure. AV Toro is crazy. They're definitely a convincing win for our for our champion. I think for for sure making a statement here. Worcester Whoopers is one on one. Now goes to two and one on the season. Now on a two game win streak. And Kingston was on, on uh, followed the same L W and now following the L. Yeah, he just can't afford to get past that one one spot right now. He'll get there no. though. Another thing, let's look at the rosters. Uh, no, he does sure have he, he, was... he he does have a suing Samrock. Can confirm. He's supposed to have a suing Samrock, which he does. That would be correct, I think. Yep. <laughs> no, I don't think any other team has regular Samurai. Don't think so. Nope. So possible here that someone prepped for the for the wrong Samurai form and still <laughs> came out on top. Like Cold Eye, he's 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 recollecting himself in chat. 
<laughs> As he tends to do, he is reflecting, which is good. You know, so a G G G G. Thank you, Orange, for joining me. Hopefully, there's another game tonight. Maybe <laughs> we can get that one in too. But we'll see you on the next video. I finish my grind, and, and I will see you all maybe the next video. You finish your Go stuff, and, subscribe. and I'll see you later. And sub to Orange. Bye, everybody. Yes, please do.